the glory of him. Everything that you do, make sure that you are glorifying him. When you're being disrespectful to somebody or being mean to somebody, even if you feel like they deserve it, are you glorifying God? Are you representing God? Y'all, today I would like to talk to y'all about forgiveness. Not, not even forgiveness, but resembling God's grace onto other people, y'all. So today I would like to start off by reading off of Matthew 5.44. Okay, Matthew 5.44. If you have your Bible, you know, you can follow along with me. I'll wait. Y'all, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, y'all. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And sendeth, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Um, do not even the publicans... Do the same, y'all. Let me tell y'all, y'all. It is hard. Sometimes it can be really hard to love people that just treat you wrong. Sometimes it's hard to show respect to people that do not respect you. It is. And, you know, y'all, we have to learn to love them, though. We have to learn to resemble God's grace. We have to learn, we, we gotta stop getting so comfortable with just loving people that love us. Just respecting people that respect us. Y'all, It's there's nothing wrong with loving people that love you. You feel me? Love them, love them. But also, love them who have no respect for you. Love them who treat you wrong. Love them who, what? Love those who even you feel as if do not even deserve your love, y'all. Y'all, something that I went through, and I still go through now, is rejection, y'all. I go through rejection, and I go through, I go through rejection, y'all. Ever since high school, y'all, y'all, I'm a friend. Y'all, I would love it if my daughter ended up like me. I'm a friend that I believe that a lot of people in our generation needs. Y'all, I, I went through stuff with people. I'm not even going to say, I'm going to say friend. But y'all, now I realize that the folks you call your friend, even if you feel like you connect with them, the folks that you call your friend, a lot of people should not even be put into that category. We have devalued the definition of a friend or what it really means to have a friend or to be a friend, y'all. So people would come to me, people would want to be my friend, and people would, y'all did my hair, you like it, girl? Thank you, girl. So y'all, people would ask me to be their friend or to be their best friend, too. Y'all, and you know me, I love people, y'all. I love meeting people. I love being in fellowship with people because I feel like everybody, everybody, I don't care. People need my love. You feel me? People need it, y'all. So, y'all, y'all, where, where was I? Y'all, oh, y'all, so let me tell y'all. So, y'all, I would do that, right? But then them folks, y'all, I would always get left for worldly people. I'm gonna say it, worldly people. I would, cause y'all, I'm not the type. You feel me? I don't like to smoke, I don't like to drink, I don't like to talk bad on people. But at the end of the day, I would get I would get rejected for the people that would entertain those things, y'all. And I would never allow myself to, I, I would never allow myself to dial down to fit in, cause I know I'm not supposed to fit in. But I would never, no way, no, no, no. But y'all, I realized that it's not the fact that those people wanted to be my friend, but they they wanted to be connected to me because of what how I make them feel. The things that I did. Because, y'all, I go out of my way for people, y'all, for real. But the things that I did for them, the way that I treated them, y'all. And it's so crazy because it's like, at first it was sad. But now, now, y'all, a lot of people do not know how to receive love. So now I would say the prayer of, Lord, 
send me to whoever you have to send me. Use me in whosoever life, Lord. Use me in any type of way, Lord. Even if they reject me, Lord, use me, Lord. I don't care anymore, y'all, because people deserve to know how it feels like to be loved. People deserve love. People deserve a friend. We all need a friend. If you're that person that say, I don't need a friend, I can do life on my own. No, you can't. Y'all, everybody needs a friend. But now, nowadays, people pick their friends how they pick them in kindergarten. There is a difference, y'all. We have devalued the definition of a friend. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, even when people reject you, even when your friends turn on your friends, even your friends is gonna turn on you. When people turn on you, when people treat you wrong, always show love no matter what, baby, because love overpowers all things. Do not fight fire with fire or evil with evil or talking trash with talking trash. Don't do that, y'all. We are children of God. Resemble, you are a resemblance of him, baby. Baby, show people with love. Resemble his grace. Show people God's grace. Have grace on people. Even if they do you wrong and you never did a single thing to them, baby, resemble God's grace, y'all. Y'all, Hannah, Hannah could not have a child, y'all, right? Hannah could not have a child. And, um, what's her name? Pania, something like that. Elkanah's the other wife. Because he had two wives, Hannah, and the other woman. The other woman had sons. Hannah deeply desired sons, but Hannah was provoked by the other wife because she could not have a son. A little did she know that God knew something that neither Hannah nor her knew, y'all. And that's what I'm telling y'all. Hannah did not fight fire with fire. Hannah put her faith in God and she prayed. And I feel bad for Hannah sometimes because even the husband, when Hannah was provoked, was provoked on their way to the feast or wherever they was going, the husband even asked them, why criest thou? Which showed that he probably had he probably had no clue about what was going on. And the priest even assumed that she was drunk. Cause he said, what did he say? He told her to stop being drunk or some stuff like that. He said something, y'all. But y'all, Hannah had her faith in God. Hannah had y'all gotta have your faith in God and understand that the ways of the world, culture cannot define you. Culture do not let culture tell you not to show people love. Culture, people are generation. We're kind to the people of our kind. People who are kind to us, but y'all, we have to learn to be kind to people who aren't even kind to us. People who we may feel as if do not even deserve our love, our time, our attention, y'all. We have to... Y'all, my camera dropped, uh, and I was in the mood, okay? But like I was saying, y'all, we have to allow ourselves, even if it's uncomfortable and we may feel weak while doing it, and other people, y'all, when you're kind, when you decide to be the different one walk on that narrow road and understand that what your daddy says that culture the way people treat you baby love overpowers it all understand what your daddy said y'all the way that you love will not make sense to people because i get called weird for my love of kindness but at the end of the day i know that that's right y'all the kindness and the love that you get y'all people are not used to it understand that but yeah, y'all, even if you feel like they are undeserving, still love. Because we are undeserving of God's grace. But yes, we have God. But yeah, we have God's grace. Be a representation of him. Love. Even if you feel like they don't deserve it, baby, love. Don't fight fire with fire. Don't be like culture, y'all. Let me, let, I need to break y'all free. Y'all need to break yourself free from the ways of culture, from what your friends think, from what your parents think that, how you, that, that that's how you should do things when you know that it's wrong. Break yourself free. Don't feel like you don't have to fit in or they might think this and that of you and you decide to go down a different way, y'all. Y'all don't have to do things how your parents, your friends, y'all. Y'all, the ways of the world will lead you to destruction. So trust in God and walk out the word of God. Because baby, when you are obedient and you're living for God, you're living for God and representing him, do all things, oh, do all things for the glory of him. Everything that you do, make sure that you are glorifying him. When you're being disrespectful to somebody or being mean to somebody, even if you feel like they deserve it, are you glorifying God? Are you representing God? We have to start representing God and stop trying to be and stop, what? stop trying to be how culture is, how our friends are. Baby, no. Be that leader. Show them that that's not okay, baby. Show them that love that they are not used to, baby. People gonna expect you to do, to disrespect them, treat them bad. But baby, show them that you are from a different breed. You are not of the world. You are not like the rest. You are not like the world, baby. You are a child of God, baby.
baby. You are a representation of your father, baby. Be who was the word? What's the word? Resemblance of his grace. Show his grace to people, y'all. Y'all, no matter if you feel like that person is deserving of it, always show love. Always show love because love overpowers it all. The love that you show, even if you feel like that you are weak, always show love. Even if it's hard, I ask God to give you that strength. He will give you that strength to love even if you feel like they are undeserving of it, y'all. Y'all, I hope y'all have a good day. I pray that today y'all break free from the ways of how culture thinks you should do things. How culture treats people, y'all. Because y'all, no, that's not how you do it. That's not, you don't disrespect people that disrespect you. Baby, you show love and you understand that your father will take care of it all. Because, no, your father will take care of it all. Your father will take care of it all. Show them love. Show them love. Show them love. Even if you feel like they are undeserving of it. Because there's many times, I'm pretty sure it's many times when we were undeserving of love, but yet we were so love. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all. Break yourself free from the chains of how culture says you should do things or how your friends say you should do things. Y'all, we're going to make an episode talking about friends because we have devalued the definition of what a friend really is. We put people in categories, people that are friends and followers, put them in the category of a friend. But y'all, we're going to talk about that later. I hope y'all have a good day, y'all. It is Sunday. Glory, glory to God, y'all. Y'all have a good day, y'all. Have a good day, y'all.